Carlo Manuel Pedro Martinez is a well-known ceramicist from Mexico. He is the director of a folk art museum in Oaxaca, and he's from at least ten generations of potters from his village. Almost everyone in his town works with clay. They have been working for generations in black clay in San Bartolo, Coyotepec. Larry Weiss invited this ceramic artist to come to Brooklyn Friends School to show us a demonstration and work with our students for an entire day from 8 in the morning till 3.30 in the afternoon. Bueno, buenos días. Mi nombre es Carlo Magno. Buenos días. Buenos días. Yo vengo de Oaxaca, México, y mi trabajo es hacer piezas de barro como estas que están viendo. Y mi, yo empecé a trabajar desde los cuatro años. He is, look what he made for our first class, which is pretty amazing, okay? It's to celebrate the Day of the Dead. Miriam will tell you a little bit about that. And maybe in this class we're all going to have a chance to make animals, okay? We're going to watch him and we're going to try to imitate. So Miriam will tell you a little bit about the Day of the Dead in Mexico. What do you remember from our discussions in the lower school? The skull, the skulls, I forgot. La calaca. La calavera. Yeah. Las calaveras are symbols. It was like a happy celebration. And what are you celebrating on Day of the Dead? Dice, ella es una celebración feliz, no es una celebración triste. They have a ton of flowers. Ah, que usa muchas flores. Sí. In particular, which flower? Do you remember? Marigolds. Muy bien, Sempasuchi. We don't have Sempasuchi, but we have a little yeah. table over there. You see at the end of class. It's the day where you remember your loved ones who are not with us anymore, who passed away, whether they're your ancestors or your immediate relatives who passed away. That's the day to remember them. Mm, en mi pueblo, regularmente, eh, nosotros los niños, cuando somos niños como ustedes, hacemos figuras de animales, pájaros, perros, toros y todos porque hacemos juguetes para los mismos niños y los hacemos silbatos. Silbatos son como ahora he hecho una calavera con silbato. He started making working with clay when he was four years old and he's been doing it for at least four decades now. Okay. Ahora, at least 43, he's been working 43 years. But did you get that part where he says, as when you start as a child making animals, all kinds of animals, from dogs to birds to bulls, and you make whistles, and he just made a skull whistle. Ahora quiero preguntarles, voy a hacer una demostración. Ustedes quieren que haga calaveras, esqueletos o animales? What would you like? Skulls, skeletons, or animals? What would you like to make? Es calaveras, está bien. A ellos les encanta. Me lo imaginé. Everyone can take a ball of clay. So you're going to watch at the same time so you know what to do, but you have to keep your eyes on him too. Y lo hacen como esto: es una bolita. Y van a hacer, sí, van a hacer. Van a hacer este tipo de la cabeza. So we're starting with the head. How big is it? Pequeño. Pequeño, small. And Kenny, you can help translate too, okay? Come and work here. Prepara la cabeza. See? So remember, the head isn't completely round. It's a little bit oval, right? Pueden hacer con sus herramientas, con esta parte, los ojos. Es 
están los ojos. Yo uso cuando regular una, una pluma vieja. Uh, an old pen like, to fix. Over here. Just get it. Okay. He's working with a pen. And he's going to do the mouth. Watch how he makes the mouth. It's pretty amazing. You work with the side of this, the side of your needle tool, to make your teeth. Los dientes. Aquí la voy a poner para que la vean. You start before, doing it like before this hard? and after this. Uh -huh. In between. Like leather uh -huh. hard. In between. Sí. Este es demasiado seco. No, no, pero se puede demostrar. Okay. He'll, he'll show you. He's making it very shiny. And then when he puts it into the kiln, it, it doesn't need glaze. Mm -hmm. It's like I've so got that beautiful luster. No. None of this is glazed. Wow. He put, it's black clay to begin with. He puts it in a pit with wood in the ground, and all the smoke gets it blacker and blacker. And if he's burnished it really well, you can see it's shinier. Mm -hmm. It looks like um, graphite. Yeah. Oh, it's easy. Yeah. See here, you can just push it down a little with your finger, see? You can fool around because there's no right and wrong. And then, let me have the needle tool. And look what I'm doing here. Look what I'm doing here. Uh, see, so don't be afraid. See that? See how the teeth come out? Look how bad my school is. There's no right and wrong. That's what's so great about this. I, I ruined it. <laughs> Sorry, I ruined it. Better. No, your, your cheeks are... And you oh, I said, yeah. No creo que existe en Estados Unidos. Sí, no, y, y, lo, y lo hicimos porque como hay que tener humo, lo que se hizo es en... en ¿Cómo se llama? En... Eh, meter en, en una vasija de barro. Sí como esta que es seco, hay que poner... ¿Manganés? No, este, ¿cómo se llama? Acerrín. Acerrín. Es, es madera en polvo. Ah, oh, sí. Uh, y, sawdust. Sí, y luego poner la otra pieza adentro uh -huh. y tapar. Ok. Y luego es quemado. 
en el horno y sí, aquí con esta mira, a esta le pones un pedazo más Look at that. 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 Look at that.